Now, your Storm Tracker team forecast with Jesse Gunkel. Welcome back. Well, all week long, we've been talking about severe weather and severe weather preparedness tips. We've talked about tornadoes. We've talked about high winds, heavy rainfall, flash flooding, lightning. Well, now we got to talk about actually how to stay safe and how to get these warnings just in case there is an emergency out there. Obviously, the biggest one being your phone. Make sure it is charged. Make sure you download our app. There's multiple apps that you can get warnings on. Make sure if these storms kind of rumble through at night that that phone that volume is up. Okay, make sure that phone is charged before heading to bed, but there are multiple ways to receive warnings. Obviously have more than one way just in case your cell phone battery dies. Yeah, I know it does happen. Well, again, if that dies, just know that you have a NOAA weather radio. They're great. They're loud. They will wake you up in the middle of the night. Also, you can turn on the tube. Turn us on here at Local 33. Again, you can get your weather there. You can also stream us online. And yes, we've got multiple ways to stay informed this upcoming season. So again, don't get caught off guard. All right, night planner. We're talking clear skies. Going to drop those temperatures just around that freezing mark. The winds will die down by early morning. A little bit of patchy frost to start out our day, but then a lot of sunshine. No worries ahead of us. In fact, we've got a gorgeous sun-filled weekend. Freeze warning in place from midnight until 7 a.m., mainly for our Florida parishes mainly north of the I-12 interstate and then moving into southern Mississippi. That's where we're going to see our temperatures drop below that freezing mark for most likely two, maybe three hours at most. So live tower cam, we've got 40 out there. Feels like 34 outside just because of that wind out of the north, northeast now at about eight miles per hour. So if you're just getting back from South Downs, you're probably thawing out a little bit. Well, guess what? We've got another cold night ahead of us, but tomorrow, Spanish Town looking much nicer out there. 34 is that current wind chill out there. Feels like 31 in New Roads, 32 in Kentwood, a little bit warmer in the Hammond area at 41. Obviously, because you got to factor in that north wind. Next 12 hours, we're going to drop ourselves down into the lower 30s. But then notice tomorrow, our temperatures quickly rebound. Those winds shift out of the south, and our temperatures quickly climb into the upper 50s and 60s by the afternoon. Headline wise, we've got a freeze warning out there for tonight. Dry and overall not too bad. Pretty comfortable throughout the entire week. Weekend moving into Monday, a couple showers and thunderstorms, all part of our next cold front. And once we get beyond that cold front, well, expect another Arctic blast. The possibility of more freezing temperatures heading into early next week. But until then, we're capped. We got high pressure currently in place. That's going to keep us cloud free throughout the day tomorrow. Clouds eventually move in by late Sunday going into your Monday. Doppler radar is clear. Future cast overall again, a very quiet picture, not seeing much. You can see how clouds kind of enter that picture by late Sunday. And then as we move into Monday, you'll start to see some of those storms move in. But the new, good news here should be a quick mover. So we're talking Monday night, very early on Tuesday at this point. It should race through. So we're not going to ruin too many of those parades down in the Big Easy because it should quickly slide through the area. And then we'll get back to a nice dry forecast by Ash Wednesday and really the end of next week. So tonight, we are talking freezing temperatures down to about 32. Clear and cold outside. Winds out of the north at about 5 miles per hour. Also, just remember that we have partnered up with iHeartRadio Baton Rouge to get your weather on the go. And here is that extended picture. We've got 60 for Saturday, 42 overnight. So climbing as we trend upward, 65 on uh, Sunday, Monday. A few scattered showers out there, mainly late day going into the overnight hours. Most of those storms will vacate very early on Tuesday. So fat Tuesday. Overall, pretty decent days. Temperatures still sit in the 70s, but that cold air catches up by the time we make our way into Ash Wednesday. A high of only 58, but those overnight lows will once again drop back into the 30s. And yes, the possibility of another freeze heading into Thursday night as once again, if this holds, we're back down to about 32 degrees out there. So yeah, winter still got a grip on us at this point, not letting go. I know we're getting closer and closer to spring, but yeah, I guess our winter has arrived just a hair early. Just remember also to check your BP. And also, we've been talking about severe weather throughout the entire week. Well, That's right. we've got our severe weather special. That is tomorrow, and it is airing at, uh, wait, that's <laughs> wrong. Uh, <laughs> no, our severe weather special is airing at 6.30 tomorrow evening. 6.30. That's right. That thing said <laughs> wrong day, wrong time. It so happens. We gotta, <laughs> we've got two channels here. we got to make it straight. So on NBC, it's at 630 on Saturday. On Fox, it is at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. Plenty of options. So you can go to Spanish Town tomorrow, mm -hmm. watch the severe weather special. Mm -hmm. 
then go to Indemnity and there's a thing called DVR, so you won't miss it. <laughs> DVR, set it, set it right now before going you to bed. You can even use that VHS, yeah, VCR recorder. I remember those days. Right? They still have them. I think right. they do. Maybe, maybe not. All right. <laughs> All right, Jesse, thank you very much. All right, we've got sports coming up after the break. Things not